Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to host a static website on AWS S3. So uh, for demonstration, I'm just going to build a very simple website and uh, show you how to host it on AWS S3. So let's get started. So this is my uh, sample website. Like it's a very simple, it has some text and I also have a logo here. So if you see my uh, index.html, this is how it looks. I just have one, I mean, some text and one image. So like, I mean, you can host uh, any uh, static website with uh, you know, text and multimedia videos images as well okay so but for uh, demo purposes i'm just going to host this simple website on s3 and show you how to do that okay so uh, <clears throat> once you have all the files needed for your website ready you can uh, navigate to aws management console and click on s3 so we first need to uh, create a bucket to host our website. So <clears throat> I'm going to uh, select this bucket. So I'm just going to name it AWS Made Easy website. And for now, I'm just going to leave all the settings as default and create the bucket. Okay. We will need to uh, change some settings later. So, but we will see how to do that at a later point. Okay. So for now, I'm going to create a bucket with all the default settings. Okay, so once you have your website created, <clears throat> you need to upload all your files related to your website to this website. Okay, I'm just going to click on add files and I'm going to select index and then I'm going to select add folder and select these images. So, yep, make sure you upload all your uh, related website related files into this S3 bucket. Okay yep so once you have uploaded these files then you know you click on index.html so this is the url using which you will be able to access your uh, website so let's see now if you are able to access uh, the website so if you see it says that uh, access denied okay so now the first thing what we need to do is we need to make uh, like enable the static website hosting so to do that we click on properties here and scroll to the bottom here you see uh, something called static website hosting click on edit here and enable the static website hosting and uh, select this host a static website and you need to give the name of your index document for me it is index.html i'm going to leave this error document empty and click on save changes okay so now let's see if you are able to access okay so i'm just going to refresh this so if you see again we are seeing this access denied image so access denied message okay so what we need to do is we need to basically uh, we are trying to access this website from internet right so we need to make this uh, bucket publicly accessible okay so to do that i'm going to click on this management here i'm sorry permissions so and click on block public access yeah, edit so we need to uncheck this box so what we are saying is we are saying uh, like aws to enable the public access to our uh, s3 bucket okay so i'm going to click on save changes here and type in confirm <clears throat> okay so now let's see if you are able to access the uh, website so we are still seeing the access to native image. So what we need to do is we need to make all the objects related to our website publicly accessible. Only then uh, we will be able to do that. So to do that, we need to select all the objects and click on. Uh, so here we need to, we are not able to see this make public using ACL. So for that to for that option to be enabled, what we need to do is we need to uh, go to permissions and scroll down here in object ownership. Click on edit and enable access control list and click on oh yeah i need to just acknowledge this click on save changes okay now we will go back here and select all the objects and make public using ACL. okay make public <clears throat> so now let's go here and refresh this and see if yep now if you see now we are like able to access our website static website which is hosted on aws s3 so yeah, this is a very simple website and I mean in your website you can include a lot of more complicated stuff, but the process will remain the same to host any static website on S3. 
So yeah, I hope this short video was helpful and you're able to understand how to web uh, host a website on S3. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.